We're going to start looking at a probability density function. And before we do any assignments on it, let's look at the textbook quickly. Probability uh, distribution or density function. There's two properties. Each probability is positive and between 0 and 1. It could be up to 1 or all the way down to 0, but it needs to be between 0 and 1. They're generally not going to be 0 or 1. There'll be some decimal in between. The other important property is the sum. If you add them all together, you get one. So if you add them all up, you should get one. And that's going to guide us through a lot of questions in 4.1. They do give an example here, the probability of different x values. And the notation is p parentheses. And this uh, will be x equals zero, meaning if x is zero, that probability in this example is two out of 50. Probability of x is 1 is 11 out of 50. And you could just keep going down here. This tells you the possible values are uh, from 0 to 5. And these are all the probabilities. If I add these fractions together, I should get 50 out of 50. Also, some questions, you're going to find that there's one probability missing. And if this 23 out of 50 is missing, what you do is you add up the, all the other ones and they would add up to uh, some number out of 50, and I would just take one minus that number, and I'd get 23 out of 50. We'll do that uh, on this first example here that we're gonna work through. Okay, here's our first question. Uh, this is a yes or no, or true or false. Is this a probability distribution? So again, two uh, properties, each probability needs to be between 0 and 1. So they need to be positive numbers, 1 or less. All of these are positive in between 0 and 1. So that's satisfied. The other property, they have to add up to 1. So when I add all these together, I need to get 1. So I'm going to use the sum function. And I'm left clicking and dragging. You can also type b2 colon b5 parentheses, enter. And if you look, this does not add up to one. So this is not a probability distribution. It's close, but close doesn't count. So this one would not be a probability distribution. All right, you're going to find some questions that have a missing value. Let's say this value is just not here. And they give you these three values, and there's a blank. And we need to fill in that blank. Now notice this 0.8 is the sum of everything here. Any missing values, if there's a blank cell, Excel counts that value as zero. So it would be the same, oops, the same as if I had put a zero in here. So this one is missing. These three add up to 0 0.8. So what's missing you could do, I'll go down here. I'm going to do 1 minus uh, 0 0.8. Now I need to actually calculate that, so I use the equals. 1 minus, clicking on that value, 0 0.2. So in this case, a 0.2 would be missing. When I hit enter, Notice this number went to 1 because, again, it was the sum of all four of these values. So if this was a probability distribution, this one of these would need to be a little higher. And I just went ahead and removed that one and discovered that one needs to be a 0.2. So you're going to see some questions are going to ask you, is this yes or no, a probability distribution? Other questions are going to leave a blank and ask you to fill in that blank. And this is exactly how you do it.